and even with people who are very empathetic and compassionate, which I appreciate that quality in them, but they almost assume the best of people. And see, some would call me a pessimist. I just think that I believe in the depravity of man. And I just understand that if you, when, so when you have compassionate and empathetic people, like I just assume that they have the best intentions. I don't always assume that. No. I don't. There's some people I do. There's some people I don't. And if you assume that everyone has good intentions, you miss the nature of man that, again, abuses that power. They're not just going to give it back. Mm -hmm. um, and so when you have a whole population of people that are like, love, compassion, empathy, I'm all for those things and for love, compassion, and empathy with the correct terms. I don't think that they're using the correct terms for those words. That's just my or, opinion. Or, no, I... Maybe they are, but if they are, I think they're they're delusional about it. Yes, I think that's that's one perhaps. of the that is one of the defining traits is that when you do tend to be more on the left, you do tend to have more empathy and sympathy than those who are on the right. And that doesn't seem to be something you choose politically. It's more like that's how you are, so you align with either the right or left more. Um, at least from when Dr. Uh, Jordan Peterson's talked about it, and he breaks down how people's uh, temperaments and personalities are more of a dictator for what, uh, whether you end up conservative or liberal. Um, but I think we talked about this a little bit before when it came, um, to what type of government that people want running and why, why socialism is so prevalent amongst the left. And I think that it is so prevalent because they inherently believe that people are naturally good. And I don't believe that therefore a so uh, socialism type of society would it wouldn't work 